Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, lighting system circuits and uh, kind of how they work and some information about them and the differences of different bulbs and circuits you got. So pretty much when it comes to uh, bulbs you have a few different kinds. One of the old most common kind is uh, halogen bulbs. That's like what you, a lot of times you see in older like home bulbs where it's the screw-in type. Uh, they work pretty simple. You Basically, you have the circuit coming in, and it goes into the bulb, and it's a little, essentially a little resistor in there. Uh, the electricity flows through it, glows, and creates light. A lot of them, you can have uh, double filaments, where it'll go through one of the circuits, create maybe your low beam light, and then it goes to the other one, and creates your high beam light. Uh, nowadays, we have uh, HID light bulbs. They can, that can get confusing on how those work, but uh, essentially, they last longer. And they also uh, they require less energy but are brighter. So you can get an HID bulb. I'm not sure exactly how much brighter they are, but uh, they can be a lot brighter than an HID bulb or than a regular halogen bulb. But they uh, can require only about one tenth the energy that's required for a halogen bulb. So they're a lot more efficient and brighter. But of course, they cost more. So you may see them on luxury cars, but uh, they're becoming more common even on even on lower end models versus a halogen bulb. Uh, then you get uh, kind of to uh, different uh, circuits like your brake lights. Brake lights can be essentially your other kind, LED, which those two can be confusing on how they work, but it's essentially a circuit board with a bunch of little tiny mini lights. Uh, you see a lot of those on newer cars. A lot of times they use LED bulbs. Older ones use conventional halogen, but uh, newer ones use LED bulbs. So like you see on uh, some of the newer Cadillac ones, Especially on their SUVs like the Escalade, you'll see it down the side of it that brake light will essentially be a bulb and it'll go all the way down. So that's a kind of one big giant LED circuit board. Uh, and in the brake light circuits, they'll uh, contains a switch at the brake pedal. So that's pretty much like your switch here. When you press on the brake pedal, you'll complete the switch and allow it to flow the electricity to flow through the circuit and to your bulbs. Uh, you also have uh, your turn signals. Uh, they're pretty similar on the bulb itself, but uh, how they work. Old styles uh, contained a circuit breaker, so it's almost like a mechanically controlled circuit breaker. So when you complete the circuit, you'd have an in or along this path, you'd have a circuit breaker that essentially it's closed and then it'll heat up really quick and open it, and then cool back down really quick and close the switch and then heat up again and open and just continues that process over and over. That's the uh, older style ones though. Then they switched to a flasher unit, and there are many different types of those on and how they worked as well. So that would probably be in here too as well. It will go through your switch and your fuse, and the flasher unit will control it itself. But uh, nowadays, uh, a lot of them are just ECU controlled. So you're, you will, you'll get uh, a computer, your computer will send the output to your brake systems or whatever lighting system you're using, and uh, that will control it itself. And that's when you get into these uh, pulse width modulation, which is computer control. And what pulse width modulation is, it's essentially the on time of the ball versus the off time. So the more on time you have, the brighter it's going to be. So I have an example here. This is essentially 50% on versus off. So this up here is your uh, DC volts. So up here is your on, and then straight down here is your off. So the so as you see 12 volts versus 0 volts, so it's either on or off, on or off. And uh, as you can see, the on time is almost the same as the off time, so that's 50%. Whereas down here, this is 75%, so as you see now, the on time, or the 12 volts, is much more longer than the uh, off time, or the 0 volts. So essentially, the longer it's on, the brighter it's going to be. And that's what pulse width modulation is. It's all controlled by the computer. And this is all happening very fast. So it's essentially at the little tiny millisecond, these switches are turning on and off, on and off, on and off, very, very fast. And the longer that on time is versus the off time can create a brighter light. So you may use this as like a, a dimmer switch. So if you have a, a switch maybe for like an interior light and you're controlling how bright you want that lights, the computer will see how, where you're putting that dimmer switch at. And then the computer will send an output to these lights, controlling how much energy goes to those lights and controls them. And then it uses that by doing a pulse width modulation. So it'll be sending out 
12 volts being on and off very, very fast. Essentially, they're bl blinking so fast that you can't even see them. The only thing you see is how bright it is. So like I said, so if it's 90% on time, then it's very bright, versus maybe 25%, it's very dim. So that's how uh, pulse width modulation works. And I just have a basic circuit here of uh, how you know a circuit may look. Look, we get a B plus, so that's the battery positive uh, voltage coming in from the positive terminal, come down through the fuse, and then uh, through the switch. So a uh, switch can be many different things. So uh, like your brake pedal, you press on the brake, you complete the switch, and it'll go to the bulbs. So you may have your left and right side bulb, and then your high mount bulb there. Uh, maybe the, the headlight switch system, so when you complete the switch at your uh, headlight unit, that'll close the switch and work. Uh, if you have any other interior light ones as well, maybe like uh, your uh, uh, one that's on top of it to light the inside, you just again do a switch. But you know, most bulbs essentially are working halogen, HID, or LED, and uh, it's pretty like any basic circuit. You got a fuse and a switch in a parallel circuit that goes to each bulb. Uh, that's why they're, they're in parallel circuits so that if one bulb goes out, the other ones will work. Because if you had essentially all your, say, your brake lights um, having a, being in lined up in series, if one goes out, then they all go out. And so that's why uh, most of them are lined up in parallel. So that's something to look at too if you have uh, a, a light out. A lot of times, obviously, the most common one is the bulb itself. But say you get a system, say here, say all three of your brake lights are out, then you know you got a problem up here somewhere. Maybe a bad fuse or a bad switch controlling all of them or somewhere broken in the wire system. Versus most likely, you just have one of them out and it'll be the bulb itself. So that's some basic information on lighting circuits and uh, how they worked. Hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.